I'm going to try golden acre cabbage. Maybe it won't split as much. So I've got two head start holes that I'll put um, hopefully some extra cabbage in. I may start another assembly of cabbage or if the one of these two fail or whatnot, I'll replace them with the ones in the head start holes. <laughs> One of the things I was going to do last time, but I didn't, I'm going to do this time. I think early Copenhagen, actually this isn't early Copenhagen, this is Golden Acre. I think Golden Acre is a little bigger cabbage normally uh, than Katarina, I think was what I grew last time. And um, so anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the bigger leaves so it doesn't take up more space. Um, I know that the plant needs photosynthesis it gets from the leaves to continue to grow well. But what I'm trying to do is limit the size and still get a nice head of cabbage out of it. And the only real way to test that is to do it. So I'm going to cut the leaves. I think that the fact that they have a hydroponic nutrient will offset um, potential drawbacks of cutting the leaves off. That's my thoughts. Worth a try anyway. This is kind of what the cabbages look like now. Had I taken a lot of these leaves off, these the bottom leaves would be absolutely huge right now. I wouldn't be able to fit in here. But you can see that there is, let me turn the viewer. It's starting to ball up. And these cabbages here. So I will continue to do that and let them try to ball up here, uh, removing the biggest of leaves um, if needed. If they stay this small, if, the bit, if these don't get any bigger, then we'll just let it ball up and go from there. So this is just an experiment to see if I can get it, remove the outer leaves and make the plant so humongous in a diameter uh, because of the width of the trays here and still produce a head you know, that's uh, four to six inches across and tight. We'll see. That's what the cabbage looks like today. Leaves cut back on it. Get you over in there underneath these lights. You can see that a lot of the leaves have been cut back. They were well beyond the tray. The next ones after you cut, the next size here would start growing bigger. So uh, I've cut now back to the ones that are starting to curl, especially in the back one back there. So this is just to see if I can get a decent sized head by doing it this way with good taste. Uh, so essentially we're controlling the foliage. I can't be certain on the cabbage, but I think it's stopped trying to make really big bottom leaves now and they're starting to concentrate on the center part and balling up. And it's kind of hard to get back in there to show you, but I'll do it as best I can. So, so far it looks promising. If I can get a nice size head that's tight um, without all the leaves, a huge amount of leaves then uh, I'll call this a success. We'll keep going. Here are the four golden acre cabbage. It is harvest day. I'm going to take them. The heads aren't that big but that's okay. I do have four of them. This one's pretty small and this one's not very big either. But I do have four of them. I'm going to harvest them and I will get a weight on them. And then I'm going to try early Copenhagen. So uh, this, that early Ho Copenhagen will be the third variety I've tried. This one's different than the last one because this one's not splitting. The heads on the last one I think are Katarina or Katrina, Katarina. They were a little bit smaller cabbage. The head 
was nearly the same, I think. Um, but the cabbage at this stage just busted. All four of them ended up busting. And that's not good. I don't like that at all. So we'll give early Copenhagen a shot. That's my favorite cabbage. Um, and so maybe it'll be able, I'll be able to uh, pull the leaves off and do kind of like I did here with Golden Acre. All right, let's get a weight on the cabbage here. We've got it set to ounces. I'm going to put these two on here to raise it up so you can still see the scale. This new scale to me has got an LED issue and it's not very bright. The back's not lit, which is upsetting, but it can be seen okay in the house. So we're going to tear it out. That means that we're going to zero it out with these two on here. That way when I put the cabbage on the plate here, we got nothing but the way the cabbage. So let's do that now. Alright. Let me get you up here so you can see the cabbage. All four heads of the cabbage. Some of them you can't really call them a head, they're so tiny. But they'll eat well. All right, that is 500 or 52.75 ounces. Let's change it to pounds and see what we get. Three point two nine, three point three pounds. Mm -hmm.